Hey guys, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create these custom footer icons and how they can overlap the section above for your Divi website. I'm using this look on several of my sites, this one included, to where again, you get to the bottom, the icons and the text is centered and the icons just jump over the section above it, which is a pretty cool way to accent these footer icons. By default, Divi has the text on the left here in the footer and your icons are on the right. So we're just gonna make some simple adjustments. And if you watched my previous tutorial, we're gonna use a lot of the same methods, including just some margins and adjusting of CSS to just move this around. Now I'm using this on a couple other sites that I will post to in the, uh, the show notes, but this one has that same effect. And generally I try to use the same branding with the same colors and stuff. And this one you can see just sets over the footer nav menu there. And then this is another example where if you go to the bottom of this site here, you can see again, the icons have the same branding and just jump over the footer in the section above it. So let's dive right in here. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we need to center both of these elements here. So I'm gonna use inspect element. And again, if you're not familiar with how to use this, I'll post the link in the show notes, but using Chrome, I use this for pretty much all of my sites. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna find this element right here with the text first. And I can see here that this is this has an ID of footer info. So I can look at the code here and I can see that it's floating to the left. So we wanna make sure there's no float on this. I'm gonna go float none. Now you'll notice it doesn't do anything, but there's also a text align left. We wanna make sure this is text align center. And there we go, it jumped it over, but it's still not completely centered because we've got these elements here with the social icon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this little chunk of code I'm gonna drop this in my style sheet under custom footer icons. That's just a label that helps me know what this stuff is. Now let me go into the social icons here in the footer. So if I inspect these, I can see it has a class of social icons. And look, there's a float right. So we need to take care of that. We need to go float none. Now that did work, but it jumped it all the way over to the left. So the last thing we need to do is give it a text align center. And there we go, you can see just with a couple of changes in the code here, it makes a drastic change to the footer of your Divi website. Now, one thing I wanna notice and one thing I wanna point out is this is telling all social icons in the site to be centered and have no float. What we wanna do is make sure that this is just gonna affect the footer. So I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna drop it in my style sheet, but I wanna add the footer ID before it, that way, the only time that gets changed is right here in the footer bottom area. You can see it has an ID of footer bottom. And so I'm just gonna put hashtag or pound sign for ID and footer bottom. There we go. That This is telling it that the icons in the footer should be float align none, or text align center, float none. Now, once that saves, let's go back and clear the cache. And we'll go to the bottom and there we go. So you can see it makes a huge difference already. Now I'm using the standard Divi icons. I neglected to put the Google up, the plus icon in there just because it's so much wider than the rest of these and it tends to throw off design. So I'm gonna give a link if you wanna learn how to put custom icons in your footer like I have in the sites I showed before. But now we're to the point where we can go ahead and start messing around with this and having some real fun. So I'm gonna inspect element on these and I wanna look at not the individual links but the actual container that has all these icons. <clears throat> So you can see right here where there's the footer bottom social icons that I just put in there. What I wanna do is the same method I used on the previous tutorial, and that is to give it a negative margin on top. Let's try negative 20 pixels for right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's jump up a little more. We'll try negative 25 for now. Now, we need to add some coloring and some effects on these, but before we do that, I wanna give it some more space between the icons and the actual text. So let's give a margin bottom and let's do maybe, let's say 15 for now. And that looks pretty good because we know we're gonna add some effects to these individual icons. So I'm gonna save the margins here and I'm gonna drop them right in my lovely little style sheet there. And just because I'm OCD, let's just go ahead and make sure that's nice and flush. We'll save that. Okay, and then now we'll clear the cache and we should see that when we scroll down. Boom, there we go. So the icons are officially moved over and they're overlapping the section above it. Now, here comes the really fun part. Again, with the standard styling of Divi, 
you kind of need to put some background color on these, otherwise it's gonna look a little janky there just hovering over the line. So I'm gonna inspect element again on these. Now this time, instead of worrying about the actual class that holds all of these icons, I wanna go into each one. So you'll notice that it gives you a list option here, and this is where you can adjust how far apart they are, or you could, you know, I think 20 looks pretty good, we'll keep it there. But there's one more area we can dive into even further, and that's the actual icon itself. You'll see here it says social icon A, which means it's a link. So here's what, where we're gonna actually have our fun. First things first, let's give it a background color. Uh, it's not quite black, I don't think, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use the eyedropper tool and we're gonna match the footer. There we go. So it was 171717. We're gonna try that. We're gonna turn these icons white instead of the standard gray. So there we go. And I also wanna maybe just drop the font size down a little bit. Let's take it down to like 20. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so now from there, you know, that's getting better, but they still look a little odd. So I think what we could use now is some padding just to give some space between those little boxes. Let's try maybe 10 pixels. That's not too bad, might be a little too much. Let's drop it down to like, like eight, it looks pretty good. And then the other thing we wanna try is to do a border radius, which is one of my favorite CSS tricks. And let's give a border radius of say 25. Okay, so that looks really good. That looks much better. I tell you what, let's go ahead and save this for now. We'll go ahead and copy all this code. Now, typically you don't have to copy all the code. You just need to copy the class and then what you write. But for the sake of this tutorial, especially if you're new, new with CSS, I don't want to overwhelm you. So we'll go ahead and save that as it is. And again, let's go ahead and clear the cache. Okay, and now we scroll down, there we go. You can see we're, off, we're already off to a really good start. Now I wanna go back in, and since we added the padding there, you can see it bumped them down a little bit. So I'm just gonna adjust the settings that I did before, and we're gonna, uh, let's bump this up to like 32. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So now I know I can go into my style sheet and adjust that to negative 32. Now the other thing that I think I might wanna do with these is they feel a little bit far apart. So. Just like what I showed you earlier, we're gonna go into the actual icons themselves. And there's a little list element here that has a margin left of 20. Let's bump these into like, let's do, let's try 10. Let's do 10 for now. I'm gonna copy this whole little section of code and we're gonna tell the list to go margin left 10. Now again, this is gonna adjust every social icon on the site. So we wanna add this little ID before each one of these that way it knows just to affect the footer icons. Okay, so we've got that there. Now that looks pretty darn good. One thing I might do though is, you know, that's kind of a cool look to where it looks like it's merging in the footer, but I wanna try just giving this an outline, uh, a border that way it kind of separates them. So let's do border, let's say one pixel solid. It's gonna be a solid line. And we wanna do a color of white. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and drop that in there. And that was right here. Now again, you notice they're not complete circles, so let's try maybe adding, okay, so border radius isn't doing the trick as far as making new circles. So what I recommend doing is specifying the width and the height. Let's try a width of 35 pixel, not too bad. Let's try 40. Now let's do the height. Let's give it a height of 40 to make sure these are exact circles. And boom, there we go. By just giving it the width and the height for sure, it knows, okay, man, I'm gonna do this in perfect circles. So there we go, we'll save that. Again, we're in the A, the actual link itself. And that looks pretty darn good. But there's one thing that we need to change here and that's the hover over states. You'll notice like on this site here, when you hover over, it changes color and it's got a little box shadow on there. We're gonna do the same thing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these same settings, but we wanna make it a hover over color. So let's pick, um, for the sake of this, let's just try maybe a nice kind of a, a blue green or something like that. Yeah, it's kind of a cool hover, hover over color. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go into my code and I'm just gonna drop this here for my reference. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna copy this whole section, but here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a hover state over this element. And what we're gonna start out with is we're just gonna change the background color. So I can get rid of all that code because it know it's gonna use that code. And this is gonna tell it that once you hover over this icon, 
the backgrounds to change to that little teal color we have there. Okay, so let's go ahead and purge the cache. And now when I scroll down, we've got the new settings in there and we scroll over, we should see that color. Boom, there we go. Now there's one last little trick though. As you'll notice, by default, Divi changes the opacity of these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what the opacity is set at when we hover. So with Inspect Element, you can just click Hover here. And you can see here, there it's pulling the color, but somewhere along the line, look right here, Social Icons, A Hover, the opacity is at one. So what we, or I'm sorry, 0.7. What we need to do is make sure this opacity is one and that Divi knows to not uh, make this transparent at all. So we're gonna do, one, and we're gonna give it that little important tag that makes sure it knows not to make those transparent whatsoever on hover. So I've got that copied, and we're gonna go ahead and save that. Let me exit out. And then finally, let me do one more clear of the cache, and then this should look good. There should be color overlays, and it should not be transparent. Boom, there we go. So pretty slick, guys, that's all you need to know. That's how you add these overlapping icons, and I wanted to point out too, that this should work perfectly for mobile. Okay, and we're on phone view right here. So let's go ahead and scroll down, and there we go. You can see it looks good on phone as well. So if I zoom in just a little bit, we can see that's gonna look very, very good. Same thing with iPad, I could look at the iPad, and it looks very, very good. We could zoom in and see that more, but those settings should work on those as well. So that's it, guys. That's how you create this overlapping footer section. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll have all the code and the show notes for you and links, and um, you should be good to go to kind of play around and make this your own. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear feedback. Thanks.